Hi and welcome to Aqua Lifestyles. I'm Glenn and on February 9th I got invited to Mercury Marine's Lake X test facility in the wilds of Central Florida to preview their largest most powerful outboard to date. The all-new 7.6 liter V12 600 horsepower Verado. So let's take a look at what makes this motor so unique and impressive. Built big and powerful for ever larger outboard driven boats such as large center consoles, day boats, runabouts, luxury cruisers, and others yet to be built, this innovative outboard serves its purpose well. This engine has been designed from the ground up for these larger, heavier craft. Their massive size, however, is proportional when viewed on these boats. The end result after five years of research and development is an outboard and an outboard system that's just chock full of innovation and new, innovative technology. The specs on this motor are impressive. The 7.6 liter V12 600 horsepower outboard is naturally aspirated. No superchargers on this one. This large displacement quad cam powerhead seamlessly seems to produce horsepower pushing it through its two-speed transmission to the duo prop gear casing, resulting in effortless power throughout the throttle range. Chris Drees, Mercury Marine's president, explained in the unveiling that the block for this engine is built in Wisconsin at their facilities. He explained that they purchased the largest die cast machine in the United States and that this block fits within an inch of that machine. The narrow V block stands vertically and although these motors are large, they're narrow, allowing for multiple engine installations with them being mounted just 27 inches on center. They can be mounted so close because their only movement is where they are trimmed up and down. Steering is accomplished by another innovation Mercury developed for these engines, a steerable gear case. This gear case allows for effortless steering as the whole mass of the motor is not moving, just the lower unit. The sweep is 30 degrees port or starboard underway and you can go up to 45 degrees under joystick operation. And running the boat with a joystick docking and pulling into a slip is a breeze. Now an interesting side note, what you're looking at there is not smoke coming out of the outboards, it's steam. Engineers explained that the moist air gets drawn through the motor and it gets so hot that it's expelled as steam. These new engines are controlled with an all-new digital control system. This next generation DTS, or Digital Throttle and Shift System, is as innovative as the new outboards they control. A standard Premier model are available with push-button access to the Active Trim System, which is very effective at keeping the proper trim at all times while underway. The Premier model has a display and both have a sequential start button on the left throttle base that will start all your motors seamlessly. There are separate start buttons for each engine if needed. Another nice feature is when it's in neutral, there's a green light on the top of the throttle handle letting you know you're not in gear. These throttles are smooth and effortless. The joystick control next to the throttles allows for joystick piloting when docking or doing tight maneuvering. It also allows you to use it as a virtual anchor holding your position effortlessly. You can also use it as an autopilot control by bumping the joystick for one degree turns and turning the rotary dial at the top for 10 degree turns. Now steering without seeing the outboards actually move is a little odd at first, but captains who have run inboards will have no problem adapting to these new outboards. And actually all captains interviewed said that there was practically no learning curve to handling these new outboards. You can actually see where your gear, your props, your rudders are if you will by looking at your smart gauge. Uh, there's rudder indicators on that and you can see exactly where they are just by glancing at that display. As I found out, steering with this system is very intuitive. Now a lot of research and development and research dollars went into making these outboards extremely quiet and smooth. Let's take a listen here. This is 2400 horsepower at idle. And this is what 1800 horsepower sounds like underway.
These motors are so quiet, in fact, that the water telltale, indicating that the engine water cooling is operating correctly, you know, that little water stream that comes out, usually comes out of the back of the cowling, that was taken away because it created too much noise. As you can hear, while idling, the engine noise is almost imperceptible, and while underway, it's just a satisfying low rumble that can be heard, but just barely. Wind, water, and the microphone noise definitely drown out the outboards. Check out our other videos on the outboard to see and hear the motors in action. This definitely adds to the luxury feel of these motors as it's easy to have a conversation not only while you're idling but underway. You're not having to elevate your voice and you can have conversations in normal tones. Ease of maintenance is also built into these outboards. By pushing a button on the cowling, the top lifts up and you have access to all your fluids, filters, fuses, everything you need. Service is every 200 hours and the major first major service is at 1,000 hours. Everything can be done with the boat in the water, all your fluids can be changed, and all your basic maintenance can be done without having to haul the boat. This new outboard has a 150 amp alternator that's more than enough to feed the hungry electronics and electrical systems of these bigger boats. Should the battery be sensed that it's getting low, idle speed will increase slightly to help feed more electricity. MSRP is $77,000. These motors are not for everyone, but they will fit a need for the trend of larger, heavier boats that are hungry for more power. Hopefully, the innovations found in this flagship line of outboards will trickle down to other lines and power ranges. It will be interesting to see what the future brings. Well, thanks for watching, and don't forget to look out for the videos that we have upcoming with the boats that these incredible motors were on. We're going to do full walkthroughs and reviews of those boats, so stay tuned for that. Remember to hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell so you know when those videos are upcoming. Thanks for watching.